and run. Good, good. Well, uh, after some technical problems, we're back, and um, maybe we should put this a little closer. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. No, to the left. All right. All right. So I tried it on Facebook. Um, tried using Game Boy Interface, and Game Boy Interface really wasn't working too well, so I had to actually do what I didn't want to do, excuse me, and use the Game Boy Player disc. Kind of sucks, but I forced it to 240, so it's looking a little bit better. Not as good as I'd like, but what the hell. So, it's a review, folks. It's a review. So, somewhat of a review, anyway. So, this is the EverDrive Mini, the uh, GBA X5. This is the Mini version. Uh, came today, surprisingly enough. Like, I was literally just about ready to do things today and getting ready for that. And all of a sudden, the mailman dropped off a package. And it was the friggin' X5 Mini. Wasn't expecting it because when I reached out to Crix, Crix literally said, okay, I'm still working on it. Unless, and I know the Mega EverDrive Pro is in, well, I just left custom, so I should be hopefully getting at this week. So I don't know if maybe he got my review mixed up with someone else. I gotta let him, definitely know, let him know I got it. Um, but here it is. And by the way, if you already have the EverDrive GBA, the original one, you don't have to really worry about it too much because it's the same thing, just in a smaller cartridge form. Uh, the Easy Flash that I'm going to do a review on actually is different because it has a empty shell that can change it from a full-size Game Boy cart to a mini-size cart used for the DS Lite. So anyway, we we'll playing. I already played some for Facebook, but I'll still play it again. I don't mind it so bad. It doesn't bother me at all. So we're gonna do Super Mario Advance. <coughs> I hate using this disc. It's, and I am using Corby. I'm not using the um what how do I explain it? I'm not using the uh, Game Boy interface. So that's one of the reasons I'd rather use Game Boy Interface because it makes it look a lot better. But given the circumstances, you know, can't really do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Get down here. So there's gotta be some fucking lag. I'm not. I'm actually looking at the TV. The lag for this seems a little worse. Don't you think? Because the lag was pretty bad with the um, Game Boy interface. It's like about a second or two. This is like the only shit I have trouble with, by the way. I, I don't have trouble with the, um, I don't have as much trouble with the GB interface. Definitely have no trouble with the Mister. And that's more, the, that's not about this cartridge, it's more about the setup. You know, because right now GameCube is really the only way. And yes, I'm actually going to give this a try. Because this is the first time I even attempted this. And hopefully it worked, and I don't regret my decision. But 
At least I got it on camera that you can actually do that. So that's fucking cool. I'm sure speedrunners have already beaten me to that shit, but it's the first time I've personally tried it. Of course, I'm not going to have a bonus because, well, I skipped basically all the goddamn level. Okay. I'm just turning it off, turning it back on again. Because there's no reset to get back to Crix's menu. Uh, at least for the Game Boy player. See, it's all like Vaseline and shit. Let me try the um, Game Boy interface again. And that's a problem I noticed sometimes with Crix's Game Boy cards, because that will actually happen. Like where it won't detect the fucking... Yeah, that's regular. See how dark that shit is? That's the regular Game Boy interface. Best. I think as far as speed run, and you see black screen again. This is not looking good, and the Game Boy player is fine. Game Boy player is completely fine. time in a row that that's actually happened. There's nothing wrong with the cartridge. I mean, I just got the damn thing. And no, I, and by the way, for those asking, no, I don't have a GBA consoleizer because a lot of times I just use the mode. So I don't even bother. Just go back to 16 by 9. I wonder if I were to get the GameCube to uh, force widescreen. Uh, definitely a big test that I want to do real quick. Obviously, y'all know what it is. Because if this works, pretty much anything should work that you throw at it. Why we never got this over here, I will never know. Like, for real. Should we name him? Oh, 
Oh, one of these days you should get the actual cart. Just to see if these, like, sound issues and shit still happen on that. And I think you can hear what I'm talking about, because it seems to always happen, that crackly sound. No matter if you use a Crix cart, and you, I don't know about this Easy Flash cart, but I know, like, Easy Flash 4, 5, same shit. I would play in the emulator, same shit. I know I'm filthy. I know. I'm a filthy person. <laughs> Supposed to be stupid. Am I right? You see what I mean about how it slows down? And it's not emulation. It's on a flash cart playing on real hardware. And yes, Game Boy Player is real hardware. It's literally a Game Boy Advance without a screen. Much like for the Super Game Boy, that was a Game Boy Advance, that was a rich original Game Boy without the screen. Virtual console ship. I'm surprised we never got it here yet. <clears throat> Let's grab some By the way, to me, the best skittles, I usually, when they're on sale, I'll get a bag of dark side and a bag of wild berry and just mix the two. It's fucking amazing. You try it. So you get the dark side Skittles and the wild berry Skittles and just mix them both. It's, it's good. Believe me. You love fruit candies and you like tarty stuff. It's really tart.
Okay, well, I didn't have the option to do that before. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I forgot I gotta talk to a frog to save my data. I don't know what when these people do mother, I wonder what they're on. Like what are they smoking? Because I want some of that. Especially forget to forget about life and troubles for a while. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastard! How to ramp thing, ram into things yet? <clears throat> those are dragons. Those are dinosaurs. Let's just keep ramming in things. What the fuck? I'll just go ram back. Okay, I rammed into the fucking guy. What else do you want me to do?
Oh yeah, ram from behind? Let's eat shit. <laughs> you eat shit? You eat shit? Oh, you definitely eat shit. Knives Out is such a great fucking movie, I swear to God. <laughs> That's not the way Nintendo intended to fuck it. Nothing about this is. Is he trying to kick it to his mom? Seriously? part of it. Like mad loose and come up with anything. I was wondering how the hell she was writing a letter. So did she put the pigeon she just she put the pigeon up to her mouth and then say her story or how did that go? I mean, you know, being in the mother series, I wouldn't put anything past the creators. Nothing makes sense.
was a couple of warthogs? What the hell is it? And now a deer? And it looks like Lord Helmet's troop from Spaceballs? It's not good. Damn, didn't Smokey Bear warn you about this shit? if I said no. This combo works here. I don't know why in-game reset doesn't work on GVI either. Of course, again, part doesn't show. Why? I wonder if I even have to report that. Now it's working. Okay. Okie dokie. Ah. Now we should try this. For sure. It's 
Pokemon Emeralds hit or miss at times. It's working. like the originals at times. I know the game didn't shrink. You're just in the truck. See, it's doing the same thing again. I wonder why it does that. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock p.m. Well, that settles that, I guess. I didn't realize it was that fucking late. Holy shit. A spice GameCube. That's crap. I'll take the potion. And we just so happen to live in a town next to a Pokemon professor. You see what I mean? How, like, I don't know if that's an issue with the carpet or how does that work? Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Not with the video like that, but. If I was a girl, who wouldn't, what the fuck would the difference would have been? You're an asshole. I'm definitely going to teach you a fucking lesson on that. For sure. Oh, no! It's being chased around by a dog. 
man. Fight him. Fight him, damn it. Fight him. Yeah, I almost, almost always go for the fire types. met your goddamn kid and that kid the kid's a misogynist piece of shit the kid's gonna be a rapist when he grows up I can't wait to kick this kid's ass teach him a lesson you <laughs> girl <laughs> see how feminine I can be when I whip your fucking ass Shit. Let me see what's up then. Let me see what the jerking around. Well, Most seriously, see the jerking around I'm talking about. So I have to see if maybe there's a new um, version of Game Boy Interface that fixes it. I don't know. I mean, for the main, like, capture, I hate to have to use the Game Boy player because you see it's all Vaseline, all Vaseline and shit. But if I have to, I guess I have to. I try to show my reviews the best, um, because I don't do like a standard review where I say, hey, it's good, it's bad. A lot of times I just show the footage, show what it can do, and make you make the decision. Because, in a way, you could say whatever you want, but ultimately the decision's going to have to come from you. I, I, I never felt it was one of those where, hey... Because here's the thing, if I wasn't interested, I wouldn't and I wouldn't be reviewing it in the first place. It's one of those, I basically say what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and see if you guys feel the same. <clears throat> and I hate doing verdicts like that, you know, because everybody's opinion is different. You know? wants to get my hands on that SD to SNES, um, the Pro, part of, just for that game, um, they did a Super Game Boy port, um, that, the, obviously, and also the MSU audio, but, <coughs> to me, having MSU 1 on a Game Boy game is kind of pointless. I understand with a SNES and a Genesis because CD audio was around then, you know? We never got that SNES CD, and the SNES sound chip sounds like an orchestra. Um, but for the game, for the NES and for the Game Boy, that kind of seems a little, little much, you know, a little too much. I'm glad people are doing it. Hey, it's great. But me personally, I just don't know. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to be higher than my rival.
I'd like to try to, if I, if I know my rivals ahead, I'd like to try to be a few levels higher. By the way, that Pokemon Direct, that was a fucking disappointment. Like, really fucking bad. Like, I've never been more disappointed in Nintendo than I've been looking at that Direct. That direct was fucking bad. I mean, you're basically turn you turn Pokemon into XCOM, into League of Legends. I get that they're primarily targeting China. I get it. But if you're primarily targeting China, why not leave it there? You know, why bring it out here? Because no nobody really plays that shit here. Here's like Fortnite and. Call of Duty, Apex Legends, you know, I don't play any of that shit, but hey, if you do, great on you. But here, that's, you know, League of Legends isn't that popular. And by the way, I thought Nintendo was supposed to leave the mobiles games market, yeah. They left it and gave it to Tencent. And Tencent's corrupt themselves, I mean, look, all you gotta do is look up their record. It's like having Amazon and Microsoft rolled into one in China. You talk about a big corporation, they're really fucking bad. Like, really, really bad. I know there's people that are even boycotting the game, not because it sucks, but because of who made it. It's like, you see how bad that, you know, bad Amazon treats their workers. You should see Tencent. Oof. By the way, I know, so, so, I love how some people, they'll call, they, I've heard myself, you know, they'll call me Miss Civil Liberties. Like it's a bad fucking thing, you know? Really? I'm not at level 9 yet? Seriously? They couldn't let me get away with that little bit? You know, one of these days I want to do a Nuzlocke run, but I don't think I have the skill to be able to pull that off. Remember when Pokemarts and Pokemon Centers were completely separate? Some of y'all don't, and it's a shame. Alright, where are you, little fuck? You're going down. It's big bootleg drop time. I 
that's cute. You got a water type. Look at that. You only did three damage to me the entire fight. You're a scrub. That's what you is. Scrub. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you had to go back somewhere, you had to walk there. So when you hear us, you know, older Pokemon players talking about uphill both ways, now you know what we're talking about. Now in the fucking newer games, it's would you like to go back to where you were supposed to go? Yes, and then they automatically take you there. Oh, here you have to walk all the way back. Oh, it's a real sausage fest in there, I tell you. None of the men as far as I can see. Not one woman in that place. Not even any diversity. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Um, Show a little bit of gameplay. So, it's almost an hour I've been doing this. So, later on this weekend, I'll probably be recording gameplay direct capture. I would like to try to use this Game Boy interface if I can figure out what's causing that stuff. But more than likely, I'll have to use the Game Boy player, which I hate. But, hopefully I should have this review done by next week, as well as easy flashes, and then we can start getting on... By the time, hopefully, I get this shit in, then the mode should be at my doorstep, and we can do that. So, until next time, this is John Schaefer signing off.